In this video, we're going to be adding some animation to our character and we're also going to be adding some adjustments to our city. So let's get straight to it. So to get started in the link in the description, I have the other costumes for our for our player and what we're going to import. Um, the link for these costumes are in the description. Um, so let's just import walk one, walk two, walk three and walk four. Um, and then what we're going to do is duplicate our idle and put it right here. So we're going to have idle, walk, walk, idle, walk, walk, idle. So now that we have our player, um, you will also notice um, the costumes are facing up. So we want them to face right. So turn them right. And what we also want to do is if we look at our idle, the center of, of our player is his hair. So if we go to our next walk we want our the center to be at his hair so we do that for all sprites we turn it right and then move it centered um, right here to his hair and then we do that for every single sprite idle is already like that let's do this and then put him here and then do this and then put him like this and then like this okay cool so now um if you click play we can move and then you click stop play so there's a bug in our game so we have to go to our city and then go to costumes and what we're going to do is set the x and y in our player and not our cost um not our city and then we go to our player and then we're going to set um x and y and then set my uh, x and my y so then that should fix the bug we had there um now um, we have to go here and we're going to basically create an if else statement um, so let's go to events or not events but control and then we're going to say if else um, we're going to first say or and we're going to look if w or s is being pressed and if that's the case we're going to want to um, have a work animation going on so um, what we do is we're going to set uh, make a variable and we're going to call it player animation and animation and then i spelled that very wrong okay so player animation and then we're going to set this for all sprites um and then we're going to set player animation we're going to set player animation to walking if w or s is being pressed um and then let's duplicate that so put this here and put this here and then instead of having this walking we're going to set this to idle um now we're going to go in and create a brand new um one flag is clicked and this is basically where we're going to have our walking animation starting so we're going to say if else again um and then have a forever loop so if else i'm going to look if actually no no not an if else but let's have two if statements instead and put that right here now we're going to say if um bring in two equals operators so duplicate twice and we're going to say if player animation either equals to idle or if equals to walking so we say here if it equals to idle or if it equals to walking now what we're going to do for our walking animation is we're going to look if it's w or s because we want to reverse um our walking animation if it's s and have it just normal if it's w so let's do that we're going to go to control and bring in two if statements and then we're going to go to um, sensing and we're going to look if key um w here um, and let me be more wise here and you just duplicate this from here now let's set this right here and we're going to look if um, else again and then we're going to s s continuously um, in increment our costume number um, if the costume number um, is less than six so if costume number is less than six what we're going to do is um, go to costume number Oh my goodness where is costume switch costume um plus one so i have to go and right here duplicate this so we just say costume number plus one we simply do that and we're going to do this at the speed that our character is walking in so we're going to say 0 0.27 um we're going to say this 0 0.27 
divided by speed and this basically makes sure that our animation is at the speed that our character is walking if it's fast the animation will go faster if it's slow our animation will go slow now let's duplicate this and remove this and set this to idle now if we test our walking forward and click play we're going to notice huh it's not working that's such a shame so what's going wrong um we can see that our player animation is not working oh okay so i'm supposed to set this here not for s um it should be under this and now let's test that yep and now it's working pretty nice okay so now oh and if we run we can see our animation is faster okay so next what we want to do is um duplicate this put it here and since as we can see our speed is negative um we need to set our wait seconds to negative because we can't wait negative seconds um we are not time travelers so instead of having this plus we're going to say negative one if you want you can use the negative operations i'm not going to do that um and then we're going to say costume number if um costume number does not equal to one if costume number does not equal to one and then we just put this here and let's see let's see let's see we're doing the same thing and here we don't want it to be idle we want it to be walk for and then we say if um animation is idle i'm um yeah then we just set it to idle okay cool now let's test our animation so now we can walk go backwards and yeah perfect so the next thing i want to do is if you watched the first episode um if you were the, one of the first people to watch your first episode, you'll notice that um, your city has cars. So in the link in the description, I have an edited version. Um, I was going to have you guys remove it, but that's a lot of work. So instead, we're just going to have um, a clean version um, and we'll also have um, the removal of the train. So yeah, you can just remove that um and then replace it with this city and then the next thing i want you to do is upload a sprite and in that link in the description it's an open game art um let me show you right here um the city and then if we if we see here we have um city and then we also have top layer trees so i want you to download this the top layer trees um let me just search for it here top layer trees and then we can open that and then we're going to do the same thing we've done in our city which is basically put this here difference is we want this to be the front layer um and then we want to switch costume to top layer trees and then we're going to wait one second um before putting it in the front layer because i want it to be in the front layer and basically what we're doing here is if we go into our city you can see we have places with trees and i just want our player to walk under um the the, the leaves um so that's basically what we're doing here so we're gonna set the top layer to trees um and then also the costume let's put this here and now if we put this first um now let's go to our tree um we can notice we're walking under it yes perfect that's exactly what i wanted to do um yeah so that's the end of this video that's all we're doing for this video Thank you very much for watching this video um please make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video we're going to be going over collisions so our player is not going to be walking past any building so see you in the next video peace <laughs>